Never stand where an injury could occur if the machine were to malfunction. Keep all body parts out of the way of steel bars when machine is in motion. Make sure all safety labels remain legible throughout the life of the machine. Always keep in mind the location of the emergency stop switches. Operators should always be standing behind the bar and always bend away from themselves. Move the magnetic emergency stop switches to a point near the operator. If only one foot switch is being used and a second optional foot pedal is installed, place the other inside the machine and out of the way. Do not leave a foot switch in such a place that someone other than the operator might accidentally step on it. Make sure the main power switch is off and proper lockout tagout procedures are used whenever maintenance or repairs are being made to or around the machine. All foot pedals must be equipped with cover guards and two-stage switch for emergency stopping as the machine was supplied by KRB. Emergency shutoff switches are supplied with all KRB benders and must be properly set and used at all times. The bender is not safe unless the wobble stick operators are in place on the bender. If the bender is shut off for any reason at a position other than the home position, it should be returned to home without bar in machine before continuing to bend. Avoid pinch points at all times during operation. Emergency shutoff switches are located on the front and on the top plate of the machine. Best safety practices call for the machine to be operated from the side. The magnetic emergency shutoff switches must be moved near the operator. Magnetic shutoff switches are supplied and should be positioned on the machine for immediate access. The KRB bender is also equipped with emergency shutoff switches on the backup rams. These switches will also shut off the machine if they are tripped. If for any reason the machine should malfunction, it will stop as soon as an emergency shutoff switch is touched from any direction. It will also stop if the operator depresses the two-stage foot switch to the second stage. Proper fitting and well-suited gloves, forearm guards, proper fitting work shirt that covers upper arms and shoulders. Wobble sticks, ram switches, magnetic switches. Always make sure e-stops are positioned within reach. Always fill empty pinholes with drop plugs. Eliminates bars getting caught and kicking back at the operator. Always dry run the bender before a bar is placed in the machine. Do this after each new setup is programmed and after an operator returns to the machine after a break. Do not insert the bending pin into the turntable until the bender has reached its home position and is ready to begin the first bend. Remove from the turntable as soon as the bending is complete. Never stand in breakout zones. Operators must pull bent bars towards the center pin while the turntable is returning home. Never expose your hands or fingers to pinch points during bending. On all new bender heads, there is a red and green directional lighted switch. These lighted switches are multifunctional. They are used as override buttons to manually send the turntable in the desired direction. Red indicates counterclockwise and green indicates clockwise in direction. Push the red button or green button to manually turn the turntable to its desired location. The lighted buttons also indicate the directions of the turntable the next time the operator presses the foot pedal. If the red button is lighted, the bender will move in the counterclockwise direction with the next push of the foot pedal. If the green button is lit, the turntable will turn clockwise with the next push of the foot pedal. KRB can also supply a light tower to better indicate the next direction of the turntable.
this light tower plugs directly into the bender head controller. On newer benders supplied by KRB, the red and green buttons stay live after the tabletop limit switches have been activated and or the foot pedal emergency stop has been activated. The intention with these buttons is to allow a trapped operator to be able to reverse the direction of the turntable to free himself. Once the manual override red and green buttons have been pressed during a bend, the bend sequence must be reset and started over from the beginning. The machine must be calibrated for each bar size prior to using angle mode. To calibrate, start in count mode from the main screen. It is easiest if you start at the smallest size bar you will be using and work your way up to the largest. Once you have your bar size selected and your table set up for that bar size, enter a count of about 100. Use this number and dry run the machine. Run without bar in either direction. Observe the machine operation to determine if more or less counts will be required to get a 90 degree bend. More counts will cause the table to rotate farther. Less counts, the table will rotate less. Dry run the machine and adjust a few more times until it appears to be close to a 90 degree bend. Once it appears visually correct, bend some material to see the result. With the bar in the machine, you will be able to fine-tune the counts until you obtain the 90-degree bend. Once the bend is correct, write the number of counts down for that bar size. Next, repeat the process for a 180 degree bend. Again, once the number of counts is determined, write it down. Do this for each bar size that will be bent on the machine. Once the numbers are documented for any bar size, they can be entered into the controller. From the count mode screen, press F4 set. Then press F1 cal. This is the calibration screen. Enter the 90 and 180 count values for the selected bar size. After the count values for any given bar size has been entered, press F1 CFG. This will access the configuration screen. Once calibration is complete for all desired bar sizes, change Use Angles to Yes. 
To change this setting, use the Tab key to highlight the value and the up and down arrows to change it. Once it is changed to Yes, press ESC. Now the Angle Mode Run screen for that bar size will be displayed. In Angle Mode, Bend Angles are entered rather than Bend Counts. Once you have done this for each bar size, the controller is fully calibrated. When screen turns on, press the F2 key to enter into the controller's count mode. Count mode is when you program the number of actual counts you want the turntable to rotate in order to produce the desired bend angle. Press the F4 key to set the bar size you desire to bend. Once in the set screen, if you desire to bend a different size bar, press the F4 key to increase the bar size and F3 to decrease the bar size. Press the Escape key to return back to the Count screen. Here you can set up the bends using the counts desired and the direction of the bend. The screen shows five lines of bending that can be entered. Use the Tab key to highlight the count field you would like to enter into. Use the number keys to program the number of counts. While the D column is highlighted, press the F1 key to bend counterclockwise or the F2 key to bend in the clockwise direction. Enter 1 through 9 under the R column for the number of times to repeat that bend setup. Tab to the next bend station and repeat the preceding steps to enter multiple bends for the required shape. Move the cursor to the top line setup number 1 to start the sequence. The control will sequence through the bends as you perform each bend. Press F3 from the Wake Up screen to enter Angle Mode. Once in the Set screen, if you desire to bend a different sized bar, press the F4 key to increase the bar size and F3 to decrease the bar size. Here you can set up the bends using the angles desired and the direction of the bend. Use the Tab key to highlight the angle field you would like to enter into. Use the number keys to program the angle you would like to bend. While the D column is highlighted, Press the F1 key to bend counterclockwise or the F2 key to bend in the clockwise direction. Enter 1 through 9 under the R column for the number of times to repeat that bend setup. Tab to the next bend station and repeat the preceding steps to enter multiple bends for the required shape. Move the cursor to the top line setup number 1 to start the sequence. The control will sequence through the bends as you perform each bend. Two backup RAM assemblies are supplied for bending steel number 3 10 mm bar through number 5 16 mm bar. Any bar size larger must be backed up with a forming roll. Once the center pin and drive pin have been selected and properly positioned, the backup rams are adjusted as follows. Adjust entire backup assemblies out laterally, far enough so that the drive pin should not hit either backup ram when rotated 360 degrees. With the bar stock to be bent in the machine, release the cam locks on top of each backup assembly and pull the rams out against the bar stock. Now push the rams toward the rear of the machine slightly so the bar stock can slide through the machine freely. Rotate the cam lock into place. If bars larger than number 5 16 mm are being bent, the operator must place a backup roller on a drop pin in such a position as to take most of the backup force. Making sure there is no bar in the machine, Press the foot pedal halfway to activate the bend. The turntable will move to the desired count, then return home while the foot pedal is held. If during this step, 
the operator pushes the foot pedal to the floor, the machine will go into emergency stop mode, and the machine will stop and need to be reset. Also, if the operator lets off the foot pedal, the machine will stop. But in this case, the machine will not need to be reset, and the operator can apply the foot pedal again and continue the bend. For single bends, a program station is set for a designated bend. Each time the foot switch is pressed, the machine bends to the prescribed bend, then returns to the home position and is ready to repeat. For bars with two or more bends of different degrees, stations may be activated in either clockwise CW or counterclockwise CCW and will program in sequence automatically. When the turntable reaches the desired bend count, it will stop and then reverse direction. As a safety feature, if the operator wishes to stop, after he has started a bend, the machine will stop upon release of the foot switch, whether bending or returning. Leave foot on foot pedal to return to home after bender reaches bend point. You do not have to lift foot between bending and returning home.